And good afternoon from the Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Don Schwenniker. In just a few moments, we'll be getting the uh, NOAA prediction, uh, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. They will be giving their latest prediction on the upcoming hurricane season, uh, and we will be watching for that. They will be doing that live from Washington, D.C. They're set up in a hangar right now in Washington, D.C. with some of the NOAA aircraft uh, in that hangar as well. Um, every year during the hurricane, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration flies hurricane hunters into hurricanes and around the hurricanes. And so uh, that's why they're set up there. And we'll talk more about that in a bit. Here's what we're waiting on. We're waiting on their prediction. We average 12 named storms a year. Um, the average is six hurricanes out of those storms. And as far as major hurricanes go, we average about three. So uh, that would be key category three, four or five. And we're waiting on those. As soon as we have those, we'll go live to DC. Now we, we also get predictions from a couple other places that we like to look at to see what kind of storm it season it may be. This one is Colorado State. People might think that uh, Colorado, why are they dealing with hurricanes? But they have one of the best uh, programs in the country that actually deals with hurricane forecasting and so they put out their prediction on April 4th this year. Uh, they're saying it will be 13 named storms, so around average, a little below average on the hurricanes five, and they're saying two major hurricanes. We also get them locally. Uh, NC State will put out a prediction and the NC State Weather Department has put out 14 to 18 named storms this year, uh, 11 hurricanes and three to five majors. So all of those numbers kind of sticking together. Uh, very close to what Colorado State had. Colorado State was a little on the lower side. And again, we're waiting on that prediction from National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Uh, they do this every year. They will do it at different locations. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was live at their prediction uh, at the NOAA headquarters near DC. And uh, this one today is actually out. I believe it's at National Washington National Airport is where they've got it set up in a hangar out there, along with some of the NOAA aircraft that they will use. When they actually look and uh, dissect a hurricane with hurricane flights, they will send up these hurricane hunters. Now, some of them come from the Air Force. Uh, C-130s will fly through the hurricane, but they also use uh, a Gulfstream jet um, nicknamed Gonzo, and it will actually fly above the hurricane. Its engines are full jet engines and can't ingest all the water that they would get if they were to fly through a hurricane. So that Gonzo will actually fly around and fly patterns on the top of it um, and then drop radio sons or these sensors sensors down through the hurricane to both test wind, rainfall, pressure, things like that. And so they also will show off some of that aircraft. Incidentally, my former intern Dave Cowan was the lead pilot on uh, Gonzo a couple of years ago and also worked for NOAA as a pilot. He's now a pilot uh, working uh, in, for the commercial industry. Again, we are waiting uh, as soon as we get to that press conference, we will go to it live uh, and we'll have it for you. Our producers are monitoring that feed out of um, Washington DC as far as what might be headed our way, or at least their prediction. How do they make the prediction? Well, they look at several different factors. First, they will look at uh, ocean temperatures. They like to see if it's an El Nino or La Nina year. When we're talking about El Nino, that's the uh, warming of the waters, higher than average warming of waters. Basically, it happens down around Central and South America, and it usually happens around Christmas time. Um, and so that's why uh, it's called El Nino, because in the Spanish language, El Nino is synonymous with the Christ child or Christmas. And that's why, so they'll look at the ocean temperatures. Is it an El Nino or La Nina, warmer or colder season? They'll look at the oscillations of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, part of that, the North Atlantic Oscillation, the NAO. They'll look at several different factors. The oceans tend to steer these systems our way and uh, tend to determine what kind of storm we'll see, season we'll see. Now, last year, you might remember, we had two named storms that caused all kinds of problems around here. We're hoping uh, for, even though uh, the average is three, it only takes one, unfortunately, one storm system to work its way through and it can ruin an entire hurricane season. You can have a very low impact hurricane season as far as the numbers, but if you have one major hurricane and, and it hits the U.S., that can cause all kinds of problems. So that's why they really, um, that's why we care about what the prediction might be. Now, 
Some people will say, well, why don't they predict when and where? We just haven't gotten that far in the computer uh, realm. Computers in ingest millions of bits of information just to make this forecast. And as fast as computers are and as much data as they crunch, we still haven't got a full handle on the atmosphere and how it works. So that's why they can't predict we'll see this hurricane on this date or we'll see an exact number. Sometimes they'll do a range three to five. That's what NC State did this year. Uh, so we will wait for those. Um, you're looking live in the hangar right now. I mentioned the aircraft right there. That is Gonzo, the Gulfstream jet that will fly above it. Let's listen in on what's going on. NOAA's 2019 hurricane season outlook. Speaking today will be Wilbur Ross, Secretary of the Department of Commerce, Dr. Neil Jacobs, the Acting NOAA Administrator, and Dr. Daniel Knuski, Deputy Administrator for Resilience at FEMA. After their formal remarks, our speakers will take questions from inside the hangar and from those on the phone. And they will be joined by Dr. Jerry Bell, NOAA's lead hurricane season forecaster. The outlook itself will be posted on NOAA.gov and will be distributed to those in the room as they are being delivered by Dr. Jacobs. I would like to introduce our speakers to the stage and Dr. Jacobs to the podium. Dr. Jacobs, I welcome you to the podium. At this time, it's a distinct honor and pleasure to introduce the Secretary of Commerce, Mr. Wilbur Ross. You can see how efficient NOAA is with their introductions and the rest of their activities. Thank you, Neil, for those words. And especially thank you for your leadership of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Welcome, everyone, and thank you for joining us today for NOAA's annual outlook on the 2019 hurricane season. The United States is fortunate to have such dedicated